Another way to create materials in SketchUp is to start with a photograph. This photo was taken by my friend Richard Truman while he was on a trip in Mexico, and I'd like to use this painting on the wall in a SketchUp model. So I'm going to switch over to SketchUp and create a rectangle that more or less represents the painting. Now I'm not exactly sure of the aspect ratio, so I'm just going to estimate it. And I'll pull the painting away from the wall a short distance. Then I'll create a new texture by opening the materials window. I pressed B to activate the paint bucket tool, and that automatically opened the window. Then I can go right here and say new texture. And I'll select the image, which will be the source of this information. I'll open it. We're prompted to select a size, and I'm not exactly sure, so I'm just going to say OK. Now we have a new material here that's based on that photo. I'll select it, and then assign it to this surface. I'll zoom in, and I'm just going to close the materials window so we can get it out of the way. I want to focus on the painting, so it's necessary to change the texture coordinates to zoom into that area. Right click and choose Texture Position. Use the green push pin to scale the texture, and then use the red push pin to drag it back over. I have to go back and forth a few times because I need to scale it up so much, and I may need to zoom out so I can see the push pins way down in the corner. I'll exit the navigation mode and return to the texture editing mode. I'll keep doing this until the painting is about the right size, and then I'll right-click and choose Done. I'll zoom in a bit here and use the Push-Pull tool to make the frame a little bit closer to the aspect ratio of the actual painting. Now it's a bit askew because of the way that this wasn't completely orthogonal to the wall and this would be typical of any photograph. Fortunately, SketchUp can compensate for this type of distortion. Right-click and choose Texture, Position. Right-click again, uncheck Fix Pins Mode, which is how we've been editing the texture up to this point. Now we're in Free Pin Mode, and you can't really tell because the pins are off the screen. I'm going to zoom out, exit the Navigation Mode, and you can see the pins are out here at the corners of the original image. I'm going to pick them up by clicking and placing them down on the edges of the frame. And I'm not being very accurate here because I'm just pulling them in a bit closer at this scale. And actually it might be helpful if I go into an orthogonal view. I'll press Command 6. And so now we're looking at it dead on. Pick up the pins and try to be as accurate as possible by placing the little point of the pin on the corner of the picture. OK, so that's pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag the pins to the corner of the geometry. And this actually distorts the pixels so that they fit precisely on the geometry. When you're done, you can right click and choose Done. And now we've very accurately stretched and mapped the pixels in free pin mode onto this geometry. I'll go back into the material window, use the magnifying lens to sample some of the color of the frame, and then I'll color that onto the sides of the frame. I'll just use the push pull tool to push this back a little bit to make it more realistic. And there you have it. A painting taken directly from a photograph and mapped onto geometry in SketchUp.